described before, a nanometer is one billionth of a meter. It's very small. In fact, if you have particles, say, that are 40 or 50 nanometers across, you can take and line 50 of them up next to a single red blood cell. These things are extremely tiny. They're pervasive. The collapse and decrease of agriculture is something I worry about even more than the previous info about autism and Alzheimer's. Believe me, I'm seriously concerned with what I'm watching. As a wildlife biologist, I've been watching the ecosystem collapse. When you lose all your stream organisms, when you have aluminum overload in your streams, you're killing your microbial bacteria, and you're disrupting the entire ecosystem. So it goes way beyond just a little bit of pollution. Um, how did Monsanto know to create aluminum-resistant plants? I don't think I've heard anybody ask that question. We're seeing, as in this example here, very hardy native plants completely flash out dead. That looks like it's been hit with some kind of a chemical. And we've only seen this in the last couple of years. And there's another one there, there, back over there. We're seeing mature madrone trees, which are 70, 80 feet high flash out dead just like this. USDA refuses to investigate it. The pH typically around here should be about 5.6. Well, since the contrailing got heavy, I watched the pH here in these forests, well, go up, I guess would be the word. From 5.6, it went about 20 times more alkaline. Very big red flag of fallout from these materials are pH changes to the forest floor. We have very extensive studies from the U.S. Department of Agriculture on the soils in our region, and those soils have changed in five to six years. The pHs have changed in this, in this area as much as 10 to 12 times toward alkaline in five to six years. I've personally been in the forest testing with USDA soil scientists who just scratch their heads and seem to have no explanation for incredibly profound changes in pH which is affecting the ecosystem here tremendously. Aluminum buffer action, aluminum hydroxide is what we think it is, uh, plus the uh, barium carbonate, strontium titanate, strontium oxides, barium oxides, probably some aluminum oxides in there.